Uh, welcome, everyone. We have the management of Ether with us, uh, Mr. Aman Desai and Mr. Faiz Nagaria. Uh, we will find out what the company does and uh, how they're uniquely propositioned and what is their strategy for the IPO. Uh, over to you, Mr. Aman. Yeah, thank you, uh, sort of, um, uh, Mr. Mr. Mishra, for the invitation to speak, and uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, our company is a differentiated manufacturer of uh, specialty chemicals and advanced intermediates, focusing on core competencies of chemistries and technologies as the fundamental base of the company. And then uh, out of these core competencies uh, come our products, which have applications across the industry spectrum, uh, pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals, material sciences, uh, oil and gas, uh, coatings and additives. And then our business models are spread across three uh, Different, uh, our revenues are spread across three business models, uh, large-scale manufacturing, contract research, and contract manufacturing. And so that's a very high-level overview of the company, and uh, happy to uh, answer more questions. So do you, uh, in some products, you are like market leader, right? Yes. And so uh, in we have launched about 24 products uh, in the last five years. Uh, we are highlighting eight of them in this current IPO uh, um, details and data and uh, files. And uh, these are our most powerful products. In four of them, we are the largest uh, in the world. And in seven out of those eight, we are the only ones in India making the, these products. In the eighth product, where there is other competition in India, all the other manufacturers in India import a key advanced intermediate from China, whereas we make that Excuse me. We are, whereas we make that advanced intermediates ourselves, back integrated to commodity chemicals. So, a clear uh, uh, position of uh, uh, market leadership in these uh, eight products. Is, is there any issue with the supply chain uh, during the recent disruptions? Uh, no, there, there are some supply chain disruptions right. uh, in from the global market. But uh, since our supply chain is distributed throughout the globe, and only about twelve to thirteen percent actually comes from China. So which is a very small component. Uh, there, ha not have, there haven't been significant supply chain disruptions. Uh, we al also keep a healthy inventory of four months of uh, raw materials inventory, which helps us a lot, uh, has helped us a lot in the last uh, couple of years uh, because of all the global scenarios that are happening. Uh, who are your key consumers and who are your key markets? Yeah, so um, uh, the key markets are pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals, material sciences, um, broadly speaking about uh, Currently, 60-something percent is pharmaceuticals and about 20-25% something is agrochemicals. And, and then we are trying to balance this out as much as we can. And so uh, in, in the large-scale manufacturing business model that we have, uh, the, it's primarily pharmaceuticals and agrochemicals. In the contract research and manufacturing services and contract manufacturing business models that we have, it's uh, primarily non-pharma. And so it's agro-material sciences oil and gas, uh, textiles, high performance photography, and material sciences. How are you going to use the proceeds of the IPO fund? Uh, there are three main components to the IPO proceeds uh, usage. Uh, the first two are the uh, funding of two new greenfield production sites. And uh, the third component is removing the debt of the company, becoming a debt-free company. Which is likely to happen with the proceeds only, right? It will fully happen with the proceeds, and we will be a debt-free company with the IPO proceeds. Uh, what kind of growth projections you have for your uh, your company in the next five years? I'm I'm afraid I I cannot have any forward-looking statements, but uh, uh, we have positioned ourselves uh, very strongly in right. the uh, specialty chemical segment, uh, having three different business models, having a unique team, having a, uh, a really unprecedented. Uh, chemistry and technology core competencies uh, at the scale and volume and complexity that we practice them. Uh, we have some of the best clients uh, worldwide, uh, the biggest names in the innovator multinational companies across the industry spectrum for our contract research and content manufacturing business models. Uh, we have a, a, a really un unique uh, global business development and technology team. And we are uh, uh, driven uh, from the promoter family in terms of techno commercial excellence. And so uh, I think we are quite differentiated in the specialty chemical segment. I do believe uh, we have a unique charter that we are we have uh, um, made for ourselves, and so we are looking at significant growth in the future. Uh, any plans for uh, you know acquiring uh, smaller businesses, which will add to your consolidation? 
Yeah, so uh, we have uh, we have a dilute uh, capital raise right now, and then as per SEBI regulations, uh, we have to have another capital raise in three years' time uh, to uh, fulfill the twenty five percent dilution uh, regulation of uh, SEBI for a publicly listed company. And so, uh, considering uh, that capital raise coming in in a couple of years' time, in two three years' time, um, one of the growth strategies in the future will be uh, strategic acquisitions. Um, in U.S. and Europe, uh, along the within the umbrella of our overall uh, research interests, technology interests, capabilities, and competencies, uh, we also have global business development and technology leaders in Europe and USA who are uh, true techno commercial leaders uh, who have spent more than thirty years um, at the topmost techno commercial levels of companies like Dow Chemical Company and uh, Altana and Cotiva, and so along with these gentlemen. Uh, strategy acquisitions will be uh, uh, a focus of the company in the coming years. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for the conversation. And uh, thank you, sir, very much. Uh, much appreciated. My best wishes for the IPO.